Here in Deuteronomy chapter 11, through Moses, God's servant, he reminds, he warns, he instructs the children of Israel, like a, like a good father of all his promises and goodness, of how he, like with a, with a mighty hand, led the children of Israel out of the heavy hand of slavery under Pharaoh. And God begins to instruct them and tell them some of the things he has prepared for them if they'll trust him and if they will obey him. Listen to Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 8. Therefore you shall keep every commandment which I command you today, that you may be strong, that you may go in, and that you may possess the land when you cross over the Jordan. So here's the thing. He's going to keep them strong. He's going to allow them to go in. In fact, he, he, they'll, they won't be obstructed or kept out of the land. And not only will they go into the land, but they'll possess it. And that means they'll have full control over it. God will help them defeat their enemies. So here's what's going on. God's reminding the children of Israel all that he has done. And now he's saying, if you'll trust me, if you'll obey me, if you'll keep my words, you're going to have the land. Not only will you go in, you'll possess it, and you will be strong. And then he kind of encourages them and challenges them to remind the next generation. Listen to what he says. And you shall teach them his commands, his instructions. You shall teach them to your children, speaking to them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up and you shall write them on the doorpost of your home. So here's what he's saying. Not only will you go in, not only will you be strong, not only will you possess, but hey, you're gonna pass this on to your children in a very natural, normal way. When you lie down, when you get up, when you walk along the way, bring your children along in the faith. Teach them to trust me and to obey me so they too might possess the land and be strong. Deuteronomy chapter 11 is an amazing chapter about God as a father instructing his children and his children's children to trust and obey. It's kind of like, well, it's kind of like that old hymn. You've heard it, I've heard it. Trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Deuteronomy chapter 11, all about God as a good father, reminding them, instructing them, and leading them once again in the power of his word and reminding them of his great faithfulness.